I used to say at work to, in the last team I led, like I had 10 people in around the world in different countries. And then there were two people in the, the office in Geneva with me. And the two in Geneva were very junior and the 10 were very senior. But I loved working with the two junior ones because they were really proactive and really wanted to get stuff done, but also were willing to challenge me. And, you know, and loved, loved me to just say, here, go away and figure this out. And then they'd come back in and we'd, we'd, we'd kind of trounce it out, whatever. But the thing I used to say to them, is like your opinion matters as much as anyone else, because no one knows what they're doing. <laughs> No one ever has a clue really what they're doing unless you're doing something technical that you actually have to have the kind of, you know, you cannot build something without putting the places and pieces in the right part. But if you're having a meeting about what we're going to do next week on this proposal development or whatever, other than following a template, no one else has a clue what they're doing. We're just making it up as we go. Good. Again, applies to pretty much every situation. <laughs> Surely, you know, surgery, obviously, you know, technical stuff, but life, most of us don't know what we're doing. And most jobs are like that. Yeah. And it's not that you don't know what you're doing, because obviously you get experience over yeah. the years and you get better at handling certain situations, but no two situations are ever the same, really. Because you're never dealing, unless you're going sitting down having the same conversation with the same person over and over again, and then, well, yeah, it's a whole different. Podcast. You definitely don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Seriously, need a word with you. <laughs> but I find that very refreshing, and and I suppose I I've always been one that's been okay to say I don't know. I'm well I've got better at that yeah about the last 10 years I now will go do you know what I don't know I used to try and blag it but that was recruitment whereas now I will go I don't know but I can find out who does and in fact actually when I was at Reed that's what I loved about having been around for a long time was if I didn't know the answer I knew who did so that's quite easy to admit in in that environment but also in a training environment you know again you'll when you start training, you do go through that period of feeling like I'm at the front, I should know everything. And actually, and that's exactly the same when you become a manager, you know, it's that I've got, a, I, everyone's expecting me to know everything. They've expected me to have some kind of brain download over the weekend. And suddenly I now know everything. And I used to kind of bullshit a bit when I first started training. And then I realized that by admitting I didn't know, it opened up loads of different conversations because other people would go, well, actually, I know something about that. But they hadn't wanted to do, they weren't wanting to say something in case I said they were wrong. So then when I went, I don't know, brilliant question. Anybody else got any ideas on that? Or I'll go away and find out. And actually, my own personal development is great. And it's developed the relationships I've had with people because I've then gone back and gone, oh, God, guess what I found out? This was the response to, you know, this was the answer. Or this is where I found some research. Or there's this perspective and this perspective. And... And I think that's the thing is that, you know, I've always been the first person to go, I screwed up. And, and I'm, for me, it was always that if you mess up, you come and tell me because we'll deal with it. If you mess up and somebody else tells me, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> and I think I've always had that. And I think it's the, the two things may kind of go pretty much hand in hand because it's that admitting you're not infallible. And a lot, but a lot of people can't do that. Because, because, yeah, because, yeah, but there is, there's a hundred different reasons, isn't there? Yeah. And I suppose in the coaching environment, that is something you would tease out with somebody because they know the answer or they suspect. And that's the thing. It's like, you might not even notice you're doing something a certain way or that you're not taking responsibility because you've always kind of behaved like this and no one's asked you about it. But, but if you notice that you're having difficulties with somebody, 
at some point you have to wonder whether you're the one that's that's causing those difficulties or that it's your it, it lies with you and it's not with the others yeah. especially if there's kind of a common thread 